I found the last few books you asked me to grab. Where do you want them? Just set them onto the table there with the others. Thank you. Sure, no problem. Have you made any progress? A few notes here, a few notes there, not a lot of progress. I see. Although, I didn't exactly expect to find a definitive answer on one page in one book. No, I guess you wouldn't, would you? Wouldn't be smart to just leave that info in one spot for the wrong person to find it. Sure as hell would be nice, though. I'm not much of a bookworm after all. What about the elders? Do they have anything to say about this? Oh, I've gotten a few visitors in my study, no doubt about that. But it's not like I don't welcome it. It's important to have the council members to voice their concerns. Otherwise, we'd live in a totally totalitarian leadership, and that's not the leader I'm eager to become. That's good to hear. Still, it can't be easy to just sit back and listen to the complaints people have about a past lover. Excuse me! Well, it's only been a few days, but to me, it seems like you've paid particular attention to him. The way you've taken care of him since he's arrived on our doorstep is as if he was a wounded puppy. You've done a lot to protect him from everyone, while the countless hours spent sitting by his bedside. Even now, you're trying to find him safe passage out of a realm full of people who would have otherwise seen him dead by now. It's kind of sweet in your own way. I can understand why you'd be led to such a wrong conclusion, based on my behavior alone. That's my fault. But you have to understand, he's done so much to protect those around him. His friends, his countrymen, our realm, even myself. My action towards his safety is nothing more than a repayment for what he's done. I shouldn't have to explain my feelings towards him. He helped me, so now I'm helping him. Whether he wants to or not, he's going back to the Light Realm. His place is not by my side. He is a rancher. And I am the protector of the Twilight Realm. It wouldn't be right any other way. Well, what if you weren't the princess? If I wasn't royalty, I don't. Your Highness? Councilman Hazen, what are you doing in the library this late in the evening? I could ask you the same thing. Then again, you always were the type to put work before sleep. Actually, I was wondering if I could have a word with you. Of course. Would my study be appropriate? If you would please. I hate to interrupt your work, however. It's not a problem. Why didn't we just do that instead? Why did I have to carry all of them? What is it you need to speak with me about? I assume it has something to do with the Light Dweller, yes? Yes, I guess you had to discuss the subject before the others already. But I was more interested in the science of these things. How so? Well, you said he had once taken the form of the Divine Beast from the fables we all been told as children. I figured, because you traveled with him, you'd know more about how it was done. You told me that you used some sort of crystal that retained the power to transform. You've spoken with him. What did he tell you? Oh yes, I had to. I find the whole situation exciting to be completely honest. It's not every day we're presented with an opportunity like this. I'd like to be optimistic about it. Well, at least someone is enjoying the experience. Really? I would have thought seeing an old friend would be an enjoyable experience for anyone. Maybe it would be a happier reunion if there wasn't so many problems with it. The others have already voiced their concerns with a light dweller residing within the palace walls. I'm surprised you don't agree with them as well. I see. The words of others getting to you? I have to say I'm surprised. It's not like you at all to be so easily swayed. It's not like that. I don't agree with everything they're saying, but I do agree with the parts of what they say. He's the hero of the gods chose to protect the Light Realm. He shouldn't be here. His place is elsewhere, plain and simple. Yet, he's here, and of his own free will, to boot. 
I wonder what could drive him to do such a thing, knowing it's wrong. Maybe you're only hearing half of what the people are saying. Not everyone is unhappy with his unrival. Some even believe your claims about him being the hero even without proof provided. You have loyal people behind you. You just have to listen to their words as well as their neg negative concerns. The way I see it, I don't believe the gods would have let him get this far if they had such a problem with it. You have to remember, their gods and ours are very different. There's plenty that separates our races based on the origins of our gods alone. Theirs want nothing to do with us after what our ancestors did. Otherwise, we wouldn't be stuck here. Not that I'm complaining about that or anything. Not to mention that the fact that our races live much different lives because of our capabilities. Not every resident in the light is endowed with the magic we have, or even equipped with the proper elements to do so like we do. While our gods display the embodiment of sheer power, as it was the center point of our way of life, if the mask was never lost, I fear people would have only destroyed themselves with such destructive force. While I agree with you, it was a terribly powerful piece of our history. I see losing it as a blessing as well, but I still focus on the positive of it more regardless. Even without it, we are still perfectly capable of defending ourselves, just as you shown by besting what Ganon was. While in the process proving yourself as a natural ruler, and as far as that boy not being so welcome within our tribe, just for not being a powerful sorcerer, well, perhaps it's fate that we can change that. <laughs> what are you suggesting? That we teach him magic? I'm not so confident we'd be able to teach anything that he wouldn't be able to remember within the next 24 hours. No, not we. You. Me? Why would it have to be me? Why would I be any better at teaching him any magic conjuring compared to the palace tutors? Well, you are the princess and our leader. That makes you the strongest out of all of us, and the most proficient in sorcery, doesn't it? Your strong grasp of the concept makes you more than fit for the role than anyone else. Regardless, the decision is yours to make after all. Ultimately, it matters most what you decide to do. He's going to be here for a while, whether we like it or not. We can discuss my matter more when you come to a conclusion on this matter. For now, I hope you've considered my thoughts. Good night, your highness. Pfft. Just teach him magic. You act like that's an easy task. You give him too much credit, Councilman.